ORAT is comprised of hundreds of tasks, uh, lots of drawings, lots of training requirements to be met, equipment purchases, contract variations. So if you put all of that together, um, it literally is a program of hundreds of tasks and, and ORAT really is about coordination. I've been working on the new runway project uh, in my capacity as the, the PM of ORAT. Ultimately, ORAT's about getting people ready and ensuring that they're ready for our first flight in July. A key part of ORAT's collaboration, and so our, our biggest partner in all of this is Air Services. Air Services Australia is Australia's air navigation service provider. In the operations centres and in the tower, we've had new software and hardware installed for our air traffic controllers to use to manage aircraft uh, arriving and departing from the runway. And of course, we've had um, the airspace component. On the 21st of May, we have Brisbane's new runway, the airspace associated with that, becoming live. The goal of airspace design is to provide the flight paths that help aircraft get from the runway to the overarching network in the sky that connects cities and destinations. A key component of infrastructure here in the new runway is the airfield ground lighting system. Improving the airfield ground lighting system is, is ready for operation includes two checks. Uh, one's a flight check, so physically that's a, a light aircraft um, doing two flights, but you'll also do a ground inspection. Aviation Rescue Firefighting, or also known as ARF, um, they're the firefighters here at uh, Brisbane Airport. They've actually built a new station in the process of commissioning that right now. Um, but in terms of readiness, um, the biggest thing that they need to achieve is become familiar with the new runway and taxiway system. We've got time frames where we have three minutes to be able to get in our vehicles to an incident. That's good for the general public to know that we're highly trained, that we'll get to an incident and be able to knock down that fire within three minutes. In the month of May, our security and emergency team here will take the opportunity to run a simulated crash on airport. During that exercise, we'll have several responding um, agencies, including Queensland Fire, Queensland Police, the Australian Federal Police, and ultimately they're there to demonstrate their capacity to respond to an incident on Brisbane's new runway. Or that's the final piece uh, of a massive puzzle. And ultimately we have a readiness date, a target to be ready by the 1st of July, therefore ready for our first flight on the 12th.